Hello. So I'm not gonna lie. I started opening this one last night. It was really late and I was like, man, do I really just wanna check it out? I got the tape on that side and this side and on this side. And I just, I stopped myself. It was really late, too late to record a video. And so I waited. Restraint's really hard sometimes. The mail just ran so late yesterday. I was really tired. Oh, let's do another cut here. Cool. Oh. I promise I didn't open this. <laughs> I think I know why this might be open. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I think that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. I hope. Let's see. Let's dig in. I'm also going to be doing a bearing swap in this video. So, yep. Go ahead and sit down for a longer than usual one if that's well, what you're in for. If not, I'll fidget with it for just a second before I start doing swap. So, got number 120. Ready to flip it over. Let's look at this together. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. It's so micro. <laughs> it's perfection. So I let go of my stainless steel one. I really, I don't know, been having a tough time and I couldn't justify getting two. So my wife had the bright idea. She's like, well, do you need both? <laughs> I was like, well, no. So I, uh, yeah, sold the stainless one mm, for copper. And that was definitely the right move. So I was, I've really been going pretty hard on the bar spinners lately. Yeah. I think the, it was like stainless was in like the 50 to maybe 60 range or like 62. I don't know. Anyways, really been going down the bar spinner rabbit hole. Uh, really since I got the stainless steel cinema thing. And I've really got some just excellent, excellent spinners. And I just found that the stainless steel version of the Thinema thing, V2, was just a little too lightweight for me. So I didn't end up carrying it very much. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just, I, I like the heavier stuff. So copper, yeah, slaps a little harder. Still just as easy to get moving. Like this is not a very heavy spinner at all. You know, what's the, what's the body weight? Yeah, 45. So yeah, see, it's not very heavy at all. Like that's how much, <laughs> that's how much the tungsten bantam weighs. So they're both super fast spinners, just very different in design. Copper is really, really cool. I've already got some buttons that I've made for Thinema things. This is a stainless steel torque bar. So them zirconium buttons that I made. Um, I had those on my stainless cinema thing for the longest time. So, copper zirconium for anybody. Let's take another peek at that. <laughs> anybody that, who's not familiar with me is uh, one of my favorite metal combinations. So this lightens it up a little. What kind of weight we got here now? Just as I put it off to the side. I mean, Copper Zerk is just fire combination, especially once you get some patina. 67, okay, okay. I like it, I like it. These buttons work nicely. There's nothing wrong with the stock buttons. I just, I don't know. I like to change stuff. I like to customize. I've always been that way. Maybe my parents, when I was younger, they'd be like, do you have to change everything? And I actually answered uh, yes, actually. I really enjoy doing this. I was aware of this from a very early age. <laughs> Ooh, these buttons are really good on here, too. That's comfy. And it's copper and copper. We got two different finishes, but that's okay. It'll, it'll patina together nicely. Okay, so. Super comfy. Definitely re recommend this if you're, uh, you know, interested in bar spinners. They're kind of hard to get, but... I said I was going to do a bearing swap, but, like, I don't hate this one. <laughs> I 
I've kind of been on to like the quieter, the quieter stuff lately. I don't know why, but it's just been kind of cool. I, I just had this idea mid spin with that last one. Well, that's nice. I'm going to leave those on there. <laughs> and I think for looks sake right now, these are going to live here. Some pretty sweet buttons. Very, very comfy, grippy. Really good on the thin of a thing. Eh. Okay, and for some reason with these, with these buttons, there's not quite as much noise coming out of it. So I'm kind of itching to change the bearing. We're five minutes in, got some fidgeting in. It's comfy, it's a good spinner, would recommend it. Let's get into the nitty gritty. I wanna, I wanna change this bearing out. And I really enjoy it on the Finema thing because it's a very, very, one second. It's a very loose press fit bearing. So you don't have to use glue. It's really nice. I might try one of these Fushi bearings because they're very surprising. This is your, it's a box of bad bearings, I would call them. Let's see, got all kinds of stuff. And mess with some of these that are okay. Could open a new ceramic one. These ones are just super strange. They're ceramic with a peak retainer and stainless steel walls. I can't find anything that I like them in. So I'm actually, I'm not even gonna try it right now. And these are some, I, I don't even remember. Too many bearings from this recent batch. I got one of these too. This is what's in that stainless torque bar. It's a very cool sound. I like it a lot. I also have it in the Tungsten Moonlight. I flamed these buttons black earlier today. Very lovely now. Get distracted. Um, all right, so I got a Fushi. I got a, the good and the bad, full ceramics. Got a new ceramic. I don't have any Acer Racing bearings. All of these guys are they're either used or we're out of i don't know maybe i'll try this guy too since this is easy to swap in and out this is a cageless bearing um i got some of these as a gift and i knew that they were gifted to me because they were you can see maybe on that one i've got written bad on there and that one too um sorry my dog just jumped in what are you doing buddy <laughs> he bumped the table yeah these are bad bearings they uh, they sound horrendous when they're spinning Oh, and I do have one of these, too. Since that's already out and in the wrong spot. I remember that the other day. I was going back and watching one of my videos. I'm still looking for a... I've got a black Singularity. There it is. I call it Singularity. That's the Unquiet Hands name. Cageless. Full ceramic. I mean, this is technically full ceramic. There's two ceramic races and all ceramic balls. But these are just, something's weird this thing for two. This one might be bad, so to say. I'm just gonna squeeze it out of here and not worry about it for now. Rambling about all my bearing choices. Put that down a little Put to the side. appreciate that so much it's just so cute <laughs> Jonas if you find your way to watching this one I can guarantee this one is home I mean unless you did tungsten you said you're not doing that so yep So that's a really sweet Finema thing bearing. First thing I'm gonna go for, old reliables. This is a full ceramic with, uh, yeah, one of my newer full ceramics. The batch that I've been bitching about in the past couple videos, if you follow along. 
Can this go on flat? It does. And what about chamfering? Pretty much looks the same. Nice and snug. Get it touching and then let you see. Very light pressure here. But that's, I mean, that's great. I like, I mean, I like press fit spinners. I don't want them to be like a super tight press fit, but as long as the bearing's secure and you don't have to use glue, I mean, like that, why not, you know? Okay, maybe there is a little glue on this one. Sitting here talking like I know what I'm doing and I just saw glue peel out the sides. I, uh, I had verbal confirmation that these were a very light press fit, but that's okay. Maybe that was just stainless steel. Oh goodness, I really like this. Got a little bit of copper right here. I don't know if that's for me working earlier or if I did that just now. Not a big deal either way. Just listening right now. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't know. It's... It's good. But... I'm really used to that now. That's what I'm finding. Oh. Weird. Oh, I've already opened this before. See, I don't even remember. I opened this for something. This is a all zirconium oxide with a a crown retainer. Well, that's interesting. There's so much copper everywhere. Okay. So we're gonna press this guy back out of here again. Because I just, I, I, yeah, I want something different. I'm entirely used to full ceramic and zirconium paired together. I'm just, I'm like over it. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's good, but I just want to experience something different now. <laughs> That's about all there is to it. Uh, I'll just drop this back in here, I think. Put it as one of the open guys. Sorry for staying organized mid-video. And put this back down. That's a really sick bearing. I'm gonna put it on the show side, on the show side of the spinner. Show side with the buttons off, you know, to see the artwork. Here, right there. Nice and secure. All right, I have no idea what this bearing is gonna behave like. I really don't even remember opening it and trying it in anything. I don't think I did it on camera. Maybe one of you will remember. Definitely a tighter bearing. Kind of tight. Uh, I don't like it. It doesn't handle judders very well. Like, uh, it slows down very, whoa, very quickly. Whoa, this is getting stuck. These are loose fitting, usually. So see how quickly I'm able to just swap these in and out right now? Highly enjoyable.
I'm gonna put this one back in this little bag again and probably never see it again, right? Let's see, I'm gonna open it, label it crown. ZRO2 crown. Now I'll at least know what it is, right? And these should be standard zirconium oxide ceramic. Yep. Let's try these. I don't think, have I opened this one? I've only got two of these right now. This recent batch. Oh, I did not open that one. So the zirconium oxide, white ceramic, generally has softer feedback and like a glassier kind of sound. And is usually quieter too, like volume level than black silica nitride ceramic. Still usually really smooth and some of them are even um, totally silent when you spin them. Definitely softer, tighter than the last one. I think I found the bearing. It's just a slightly different tone than the black ceramic. Let's try this guy. Yeah, there's nothing really here there. That's got one of these uh, Fushi bearings. Um, I would recommend these since a bag of them is $10. Like you're basically paying, or like $11 maybe. A dollar bearing essentially if you got Prime, Amazon Prime here in America. Yeah, these are, like they don't have the best, not best, the loudest sound or the most feedback, but they're really fast and they're consistent and they have good tolerances. Like I'm, I'm a fan, honestly, they're pretty good. This is also good. I do like this a lot. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, swapping bearings on the cinema thing again. I'm not sure if I did this in the last one or not, but yeah, this is a good bearing for this setup. Jumping over on me. I ran out of stuff to say. I'm just here fidgeting and doing stuff now. See that like 45 to like 60 gram body weight is really good for fidgeting. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Once it gets too heavy, you can do that, but I don't feel, feel like it's as satisfying. You can't just like really get it singing alrighty thanks guys we'll see ya